Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, let's answer the question, the simple question everybody has asked, and many of you have watched the first episode of Daryl Dixon, Season 1, Episode 1, and we find out some of that story. Spoiler alert if you're not caught up to the series, if you've not watched Episode 1. Simply, Daryl was captured, put on a ship around Maine, and set sail toward France. A mutiny seems to have happened, and Daryl causing lots of damage, but gets away, leaps from the ship, but is able to get to a lifeboat. And he's on that lifeboat when he washes up on the shore in France. From the season one trailer after episode one, we get this shot and it does show that same scene that we got from earlier trailer from a different angle. This is the walker, the crazy experiment walker that's coming after Daryl that we saw in that first promo. It either broke out and caused something to go. Uh, that ending scene said there could have been a mutiny. Something uh, Daryl could have caused that. We just don't know all the details yet, but a really cool scene from that season trailer. In the season trailer after episode one, it shows Daryl is seen on the radio and he's saying, I'm in Maine, up the coast, be home soon type of thing. But he's running into trouble and that trouble is either the French group from the ship an American counterpart group that they're trading with or something, maybe the ones the French people, uh, Genet's group's trading with, they may not be trading. Uh, you know, they're doing the experiments and stuff. But someone captured Daryl, put him on the ship, and as far as who it is and all that kind of stuff, many theories are out there, but many questions remain. The exactly how he gets on the ship. I think he runs into some bad guys, and, you know, they just overpower him and put him on the ship, um, possibly to make him work force him into working on the ship to be a crewman. They used to do that in the old days, go into bars and just grab drunk people and put them on a ship. Next thing they know, they, they sober up. They're on a ship <laughs> out at sea. But he also could have been a prisoner. They may have been wanting to experiment on him. Eventually, you know, something bad was going to happen to him. But we do know the ship was doing experiments on walkers. It took three years to get it seaworthy. I think this happened in France and it went over to America, my theory so far. But I'll be doing a video on the Season 1, Episode 1 ending coming up next, uh, next video to break down that scene and some of my theories and your theories about who, why, where, etc. But I wanted to do this video, just a quick little video to answer a question if people still had it as far as how did he get to France. And that is what we know so far after Episode 1. We don't know the full story and we don't know the who, the exactly how. But we kind of got it laid out as far as, okay, he didn't fly over there on his bike. He didn't go in an airplane or anything like that. So, of course, the big question about is it CRM or are there any CRM connections? I will tackle that in that next video trying to break down that ending scene. But the simple answer to the question we've been asking for so long, and some of you guys may still have, how did he get to France? On a ship. Um, I theorized way back that he got there on a ship and he pirates took him you know and that's pretty much what you could call this i know Genet's group's not pirates per se they're a paramilitary type group it seems like and they were doing experiments on the ship so not exactly pirates but it was a ship and now we know but definitely stay tuned for the next video i'm working on it now um it's breaking down that ending scene it's going to be a really good one we'll talk about crm theories and stuff like that let me know what you think about this one down in the comments below, and you know I'll join you there. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more dead stuff.